Hi friends golfers, Eric Solver with EJS Golf, and today I'm going to take a look at these from Sherpuck sure Golf at thegolftrainingaids.com is where this came from, thegolftrainingaids.com. Um, I'm going to do a review of them. They are uh, Read the Break and Make More Putts by Sherpuck sure Golf. They're these little, hopefully you can see this. Um, yeah, and so they have, uh, you know, the little liquid and the, the bubble in there, and you're putting it down behind the ball to, it has four different quadrants on it. and Uphill breaks right, uphill breaks left, and you have breaks left downhill and breaks right downhill. But you can see by the bubble in there, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell by that the severity of it. I haven't used this, so what I'm going to do, there's two different ones. They basically, it, from what I'm looking at just from here, they're the same, just different uh, writing on them. One's more of like a poker chip almost looking, and one's just black, okay? The poker chip seems a little heavier to me, so I kind of like that one. So I'm going to go ahead and put this and, and go through the break here. But I will tell you this, the angle is going to be kind of off because I want you to be able to see me talking here. I don't want to get straight behind it. So it may look a little funky angle, but I'm going to go through this with you and just kind of look at the break, see how it works. And we'll go from there. Okay, so it says to find the, uh, the little line here at the top, put that towards the hole, which is actually on this one a spade. I'm going to put it right behind the ball, right towards the hole, okay? Now... What's pretty wild is this one here is barely moved, okay, as far as where it's at. It's telling me that this thing is uphill and breaks to the right, but very little, very little amount, okay? So I shouldn't have to play this too far outside, and it's a little uphill. Uh, so let's kind of see how it does, okay? <laughs> I wish I was a little better putter, so we'll see how that kind of goes. That could be the big missing variable here. Let's just see if I, how this goes here. So at least we'll find out if the break was right. So you see, I pulled it a little bit out there, so it was kind of a little hard to tell. Let's try one more. I'm going to try to put this a little more on line. That was a little left. So you see, that did move a little bit to the right. I started a little bit to the right. So not the best putts, but point is, it worked. Okay, so we're going to try a different one here that looks like it has a little more break and kind of see uh, how we how we do it. I'm going to try both of them and get to see if there's a difference. Okay, so I'm going to start with the like poker chip looking one, get straight at it. And this has a little more severity. This is uphill, breaking right, which is obvious, but the severity of his telling me it's quite a bit, okay? I'm going to look at the black one, which is just a little lighter, but same premises. And I'm going to see if the thing's in the same spot. The little, yeah, exactly the same. So why would I use this? It's just to check my reading out. It's a great tool to practice with, okay? And let's just see the accuracy. All I care about is this thing accurate. If it's accurate, it's gonna be a great tool. So this is quite a bit downhill and left to right. Okay, so it moved exactly like I thought it would. I could have put a little bit more on it. There's a reason so, the pros use aim point. Okay, why? Because in general, we are not good greeners as human beings, even the pros. There's such subtleties we miss the ground. I mean, it's just, it's a difficult proposition. So that's why speed is so important, folks. So here's the thing. I like both of these. These are great. They're the same thing. One's just a little heavier. This one's a little lighter, but this is going to check to see how your green reading is. So you can feel confident when you go out on the course, okay? Hey, thanks for watching. You'll get these at thegolftrainingaidstore.com to get a discount on them. Go to my website, egsgolf.com slash links. I'll put everything in the bottom so you can find it, but these aren't expensive. Check them out. Thanks.